Hello and welcome. My name is Nikki Shields and you probably know this guy. Thank you, Nikki. I'm Timo Bernhard. And we are delighted that you're joining us on this very sunny day, which means we're not in England or Germany. We are in California, of course, in Monterey at the WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca for something very exciting. Today is a world premiere. It's the world premiere of the top spec in Porsche's electric portfolio. And there's something else happening as well, isn't there? That's right, Nikki. It's not all we're going to witness today. We're attempting also to break the EV lap record on this iconic racetrack. So, a very exciting day. Um, Timo, you obviously know a thing or two about breaking records, very Thank successfully you, as well. You. Um, <laughs> but you're handing the reins over to a different driver today. That's true, Nikki. It's not going to be me inside the cockpit. It will be Lars Kern, a fellow Porsche colleague of mine. And I will go over and see him right now because I know going to such a record-breaking event, you need good spirit and a good preparation. Keep our fingers crossed. Send him our wishes. I will. Thank you. Nick. Thank you very much, Timo. Now, to kick off this world premiere, I'm absolutely delighted to welcome the vice president of the Taycan model line, Kevin Geek. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing, Kevin? I'm fine. Thanks for having me. Are you excited? Yes, we Good are really moment. excited. Today, we have our newest baby, uh, the most performance, the most dynamic Taycan. We already have uh, some record on the most demanding racetrack. Uh, of the planet, the Nürburgring Notchleife, and we are ready to perform today. Brilliant. Shall we take a look? Yeah. Let's reveal the car. Great. to you the Taycan Turbo GT. Wow, that is a serious head turner and that color as well, purple sky, absolutely beautiful. But I want to know, facts and figures, hit me with them. Yeah, these are very impressive. We are offering to our customers almost 1,100 horsepower or 815 kilowatts overboost power. We are delivering 1,340 Newton meters torque. At the end, this leads to a maximum speed of 305 kilometers. And now we have an acceleration from zero to 100 in 2.2 seconds. 2.2 seconds, that's ridiculous. Well, it's a, it's a street legal, but it's supposed to be a super performance car. Therefore, we was focusing on lightweight construction as well as on more performance. Let me give you some example. When we look on the brake caliber, because they bring 2.2 kilogram weight reduction, we have forged wheels with 10 kilogram weight reduction. We have only one charging port. Yeah. We're introducing a lot of lightweight material, like mm -hmm. you see the carbon fiber mm -hmm. here. And at the end, we are introducing a carbon fiber wing. And this overall is the performance the car needs. I mean, that wing, that is the perfect finishing touch. But you've also got a, a secret weapon hiding inside. Yeah, so we are introducing uh, as well here a new power converter with 900 amps, which brings us the performance and allows us a new feature, which is called the attack mode. With the attack mode, you can have 120 kilowatt additionally for 10 seconds to perform on, on the track. So you see this car has everything you need to perform in a circuit race. So you've already smashed one record. Let's see if we can do another one today. Shall we find out how Timo and Lars are getting on in the final preparations before that record attempt? Breaking point is crucial, I guess, right? Just wide around and not some rotation, or what's yeah, a critical you point? try to get out of the rest. But it's quite good in this corner, if you see, if you look into the corner, like the main so I guess uh, you will feel quite a bit of review.
Lars, you did it. Um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Um, not entirely happy. Um, I, I screwed up the last corner a little bit, but I think I, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't too shabby. It looked pretty perfect to me, I've got to say. I think let's give him a round of applause, Lars, for smashing that record with a one minute, 28, 28. It has been a truly remarkable day, a world premiere, and we smashed the record here at Laguna Seca. But Timo, just explain, because I believe that Lars, despite breaking the record, was not happy with his lap time. Yes. Typical racing driver, always wanting more. Yes. What happened next? Exactly, Nicky. So Lars got in the purple sky one. He broke the record, but he stated afterwards he didn't hit the, the attack mode properly. Okay. So there was more time to gain. And that's the thing with these record runs. You always bring a spare car. So he got in the spare car, went out again, and this is what happened. Unbelievable. That is talent. A 1 minute 27 87. Huge congratulations to Lars and the Porsche team. All of that hard work paid off. 100% Nikki, and I guess everybody's really happy back at Zuffenhausen. Well, let's find out. That was incredible. At Porsche, we've always been driven by dreams, in this case of building the ultimate all-electric performance car. We are very proud of the successful transfer of the Porsche GT and Motorsport genes to the Taycan model line. With its market launch, the Taycan Turbo GT is already a record holder. And what an amazing experience it was to join the team virtually with Apple Vision Pro. Thanks to our custom race engineer cockpit app, it felt like I was right there in Laguna Seca with Lars. It has been great to bring the best of German engineering and Apple's inspiring product innovations together. And so, I couldn't be more excited to welcome Tim Cook, Apple CEO, to share this special moment with us. Good morning, Tim. Great to see you again. How are you doing? Good morning, Oliver. Congratulations to you and the Porsche team on the new record you've set with this incredible new vehicle. It's these kinds of extraordinary milestones that show the world what can happen when a team of incredibly dedicated people come together to break new ground on a big idea. Porsche has always been known for excellence, 
And we're proud to see a number of our products play a role in what you do. And it's so great to see Apple Vision Pro helping reimagine track experiences. I believe deeply that spatial computing has the potential to revolutionize virtually every industry. And you're showing one of the many ways Apple Vision Pro is going to make the impossible possible. Absolutely. We appreciate the great partnership we have established over the years. Starting with the My Porsche app and Apple CarPlay, and now we are taking it one step further with Porsche's Apple Vision Pro Race app to bring the best user experience to our employees and customers. Congratulations again, Oliver. We can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you, Tim. I'm sure we will have some surprises for you. Looking forward to seeing you in person again. Stay tuned. Woo!